I am Mike Stanton. It's September 27th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey coming to you live from uh, La Jolla, California, site of the BAM Municipal Leadership Forum, which just wrapped up earlier today. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Uh, let's do a recap of uh, another busy week in the primary market. Yeah, sure was. We finished uh, September. Actually, was a strong uh, month for municipals, up at 90 basis points for the month. Finished the quarter. And uh, it really, it's been, the story has been supply and uh, and really flows continue to be strong. So we've had uh, 13 straight weeks of inflows, totaling about $14 billion, and, uh, and the new issue market continues to be very robust. We uh, actually, for the year now, we're at $365 billion, which is more than all of, or like $360 billion in all of 2023. So uh, rounding about 35% ahead. And uh, so all eyes have been in the primary and there's plenty of demand for paper. Yeah, and interesting conversations here at the conference the last couple of days. A lot of expectation of continued strong volume into 2025, maybe even into 2026 combination of the uh, demand for projects, uh, starting to see uh, investment and resilience. So a lot of uh, good factors to the market. Also, you know, as you'd expect uh, from a meeting market crowd, a good deal of uh, caution and uh, risk assessment. Um, one of the best lines was that people buy munis because they are risk, not because they want to become risk. Um, and so, you know, risk management is, remains a management thing, and that helps out uh, for the band for insured transactions. A very strong week in the primary market for BAM this week, $380 million of new issues I saw priced. That was led by the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, $69 million, priced by Raymond James. $41 million for the Raindance Metro District in Colorado, that was priced by RBC. And $32 million for the Union Ridge School District in Illinois, that was priced by Oppenheimer and Company. Uh, looking ahead to next week, a slightly lighter new issue. Uh, yeah. Well, we had $15 million this week, $10 billion on the calendar for next week. Anything stand out to you? Yeah, I mean, there continues to be a lot of New York, unsurprisingly, New York, Cal, Texas uh, paper. The uh, Although next week, I think the largest deal is a Northwell uh, obligated group, $1.2 billion. So that'll lead the way. Uh, and then <clears throat> also another A-rated deal is that uh, a Cal A-rated deal. So there'll be a little bit of yield next week and should see plenty of uh, plenty of demand. We're expecting a $100 million deal on the BAM insured calendar from the Canyons Metro District Number 5 in Colorado. That's going to be priced by Piper Sandler. Thanks for your time this week, Grant. Uh, safe travels back to New York. We'll see you soon. Thank you.